People say college is some of the most memorable years of your life. I would agree. These are my roommates, Jake and Peter. My girlfriend, Chrissy, and her friend, Becca, Colin, my brother, Brady, and me, Logan. This is our story of navigating college and documenting the journey. Today was a great day. It was fun. It was a good day. That was the best day ever. One of the most action-packed days of the semester. A beautiful day. Dude, today was fun. All of us had a weirdly good day. Boys had fun. This is my friend Josh. We've been friends since high school, and he's going to come down for the weekend. So we'll back up to the night before. Josh was on his way down from Maryland, and Colin, who is my little brother in the fraternity, was getting initiated. Like, it was like a dud. It felt like literally somebody lit a firecracker, and then it like died right before it went off. I, mean, I was a relief to get in, though. I felt like I could just whip my penis out for the first time and just be like totally myself, and just everyone could just be like, well, he's already in, so we can't kick him out. I, I can't talk about penis. I'm your mom, Josh. I know. Stop. No, dude. We woke up the next morning and there are some good waves, so we had to take Josh to Axis 11 and go for a surf. When two worlds collide, the first one will die. <laughs> that's, that's from SpongeBob. Yeah, so it's kind of a bummer because Logan doesn't really get to get filmed a lot. So any chance I get to just kind of grab a camera and get Logan, I try and take it. It's kind of cool to see her like take a slam and then be totally fine and get back up. The first thing he said to me when I got out was, man, you got worked! So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Definitely um, face planted a lot. You and I only got one night. And you and Peter separated for reasons that you can't know later. Um, yeah, we did see a girl. Oh my god. You don't need to give a specific name. You're the king of making me uncomfortable. Yeah, there's this, this pretty girl. She was with like a lot of other guys. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, this might not be for me. Like, I don't have energy for any social interaction right now. Just so tired, like... I'm so tired from the week of volleyball in school, and I just want to, like, lay in my bed and do nothing and just stare off into blank space, but I pretty much just force myself to get up and drink caffeine and get after it. While you, Logan, decided to climb up onto the balcony and perform a triple twist well, I got a message of the menace and a reason to the rhyme And I'll throw a battle in a war against the time I got the cups in the world What's up? I'll package of Link with me and her Yeah, it's funny because getting up the roof is the hardest part You've jumped off our roof Yeah, that's the hardest part Yeah, that's the hardest part Yeah, that's the hardest part It was only our strike one We still got two more strikes Wow Chrissy was killing it with some sort of dance. All right now, five, four, three, two. Rich homie, homie, I'ma do what I do. I got rounds like I'm a model, like I don't have no sticker. Thousands like I'm cutting in this disco. That was like a super packed Saturday. And we're like, let's just walk to like the farmers market. Make a rhyme anytime, like a drama matter. Trying to take on the world with a guitar in my hand and say my am I will I can. Bounce in the grass because the grass was bouncing. Ooh, yeah. So, like, jumping on grass and just like staring at the sunset, and like everyone was totally sober, and we're just walking around being weirdos. Eight out of seven. Eight out of seven. 
Logan's organizer side definitely came out that day just from we gotta clean up before we get to. Sometimes I imagine us we're like walking through like Antarctica and me and Peter are behind like Jesus, can we take a break? Like we have to keep moving. <laughs> Dude, this has been like a buildup of trash for like the past couple weeks. We have Chrissy and her volleyball friends coming over. They're gonna be here and we wanna just kinda clear this area out, clean it up, and just make it super conducive to dancing. I do wish I could find a better balance of work and social life. I can't tell you how many times I've, you guys have been like, hey, we're gonna go surfing. Or like, hey, you wanna go do this? And I'm just like, nah, I gotta go to work. It does make those times like more fun and more like memorable. Our crews have kind of connected. Anytime we're around our group of friends, it's just such a fun time. We made up a little game, and it's basically a dance contest. We start with a DJ who picks a song. As everybody dances, the DJ eliminates people until there's a winner, who becomes the next DJ. Anna got eliminated and was ready to throw hands. I think I was kind of picked on because Jake was like feeling around for Kennedy in a way. Do you want to talk about Kennedy? <laughs> Is this going in? Yeah. I should have won the dance off, basically, but it's okay. She didn't win. Sorry, she didn't dance the best. But you and I can find some time. And that was like honestly our first night that we threw down our Carlton. As the landlord, I don't know anything about the party that they had that night. So excited that we all have been hanging out because it's been so fun. So that time. Immaculate. Immaculate. I, I only had to spend one day here. And I'm like 100% convinced, like I gotta do it. You gotta move here? Yeah, I have to. He's a super cool guy, it was nice to meet him. What do you think of Josh? Nice. He's, he's just a good vibes kind of guy. I just, I don't see myself having a bad time with him. He's a cool guy. Yeah, it's great meeting you. That was a sick you had a lot of fun. Yeah, that was sick. I'll be back though. Cool, hell yeah. I'll see you. It's always fun when he comes around and we get to hang out with him. Good morning. A lot of fun. I'm definitely missing you in the summer. So this is going to be it. Aww. You and I. I think I'll cry. Good times. Good times. Good times. <laughs> It's nice to hang out with close friends because they make you feel safe and relaxed. But when you spend time with people you don't know quite as well, you might end up doing something totally different than you've ever done before. Maybe today was so awesome just because we were with a group that wasn't even a group yesterday. Josh came to school here. I really hope he does. Alright, what's going on? It's raining. I want to go outside and play in it. Yeah, I still got the scars. We didn't hear from you guys for like 12 hours. You've gotten a lot smoother. We're competitive about who eats the most. If I had Peter's lifestyle, I'd be, I wouldn't have a torso. You have two plates! And my brother and his girlfriend got this client. We had a couple complaints. Did we get work done? No. But oh my god, I would not trade that for anything. But you and I can find some time here and wine and joke. Do you get an interview? Yeah, do you have an interview? I want to do that. Yeah. Get an interview. Favorite meal? I like, I love steak. And until we get his other hamster and we're like, run free. And he runs straight into like the air conditioning vent, dude. We don't ever see him again. Until like two years later, I get more hamsters. They eat each other. Like, I'm not kidding. We have I've heard they do that. And the pulley system and it's like an elevator, right? And you like pull the string and the, the hamster goes up and this like other thing comes down. And so we pulled the wrong button and just went 
and it was a hamster pancake dude, and me and my like eight year old friend are sitting there crying. It was a hamster smash.